It's time, ladies and gentlemen. The Indiana Pacers traded for Pascal Siakam, and Tyrese is back from his injury. Pascal's making his debut. Now, it is in Portland. Portland's not a very good team, but we have to react to the debut live. One of those people that I thought I would never see in a different jersey. I don't know how to explain. I mean, he did spend his whole career in Toronto before last week or a couple days ago, but it still is a bit different. It's, it's a bit different. I got to get used to it. Here we go. First offensive possession. Oh, I'm just, I don't know, man. I'm just I'm just overall excited. Now, I switched over to the, the Indiana Pacers broadcast. This is normally a team. When I watch the Blazers, I listen to the Blazers. But I, I got to listen to Indy because this is their first game together, man. I got to hear what the commentators are saying about the matchups, about, about, the, about the team. First shot back from injury. Cash. Sheesh. Pascal, come get it. Screen. This is the first one. And it's up. The first two as a pacer. There it is. Malcolm Brogdon's so nasty. I, hey, I don't know if Malcolm Brogdon's going to trade. I would hope so. And he goes to a team that's trying to compete. Send that man to Philly. Send that man to New York. I need to see him on a playoff team. Malcolm Brogdon is just so underrated, bro. He's so underrated. Corner three. Pascal. Bottoms. Oh man, this this team this team was already really really fun. It was already a super fun team to watch, and now I'm just saying like a talent upgrade for a type of roster like this goes a very long way. Come on, and Lee Smith, come the first, you know you get a chance to start. That's what we do. And there's Malcolm Brogdon, just on on cue, on cue, man. Malcolm Brogdon for three, he just won't miss. Is, let me see. Is that? Is he have eleven? He's had. I'm. I'm losing track. Just know he got a lot of the points so far. And I don't know if Tyrese is supposed to be on some type of minutes restriction since his first game back in like two weeks or so. Buddy, bottoms. I, I mean, you, you can just see it. Certain players, when they releasing the ball, you just know. And Buddy's one of those guys. Off the fingertips, you can tell what Buddy Hill's shot is going in and which ones are not. Now, I did switch over to the Blazers uh, commentary. I don't know. I just like the, this is one of my favorite commentary teams in basketball. There's a spin from Pascal. I mean, you know it's coming. You just don't, you can't really guard it in most cases. I, I've mentioned this before. I do not like Scoot's on court drip. I know I, I'm, I'm 27 years old. I shouldn't be thinking about on court drip, but it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Um, the leg sleeves, the calf sleeves look like socks. So it just looks like he's, it looks like he just wearing two socks to his knees, and I just don't like it. Scoop, come on, man. The last week or so, don't, don't, don't stop messing around. Now, he did end up having 33 points on 31 shots a couple nights ago, but I watched all of those shots. Like 29 of them were good looks for him. You know, they were giving him so many open ones. He was just taking them, taking them, taking them, and, and they'll fall more eventually. I like Ben Shepard, too. Good defense right there by Bari. And Mr. King of Efficiency, Jalen Smith. I say he's King of Efficiency. He's missing layups. This might turn into a School Henderson video. This might turn into a School Henderson video. This is such a good take from the Rook, man. Such a good take. I think that's six points all on layups, just him using that strength. Because he's a rookie, but he's built like a tank. And the first couple, I guess, months of his career, he wasn't doing that like that. So we're seeing the progression. Eight points. He's got eight. Good pass. Ben. Ben Shepard is just a little bit too shy for me. I know you're a rook and all. Please take the shot. There you go. There you go. You're a, sh you're a shooter. Remember that, Ben? You are a shooter. Hey, look at the graphics. This feels like an ad to, for you to watch Trailblazer games. But it's beautiful. It just exists. It, it exists right there. The first quarter stats. Who's doing Oh, my God. That's 30 feet out. No good. And here's Habistro coming onto the microphone. You know, like I said, they got a nice a nice group of talent over there. OB. Good one more. That's good basketball. That's good basketball. Now, you may have won the one more to the guy that's close to 50, 40, 90, but that's good basketball. <gasps> School made him fall. Finish it. Finish it. Rewind it. Rewind it. Scoot made him touch the flow. Oh, man. His legs just like it. I got to go one more time. One more time. Because sometimes players trip. Let's look real closely. He, he tripped over Miles. I don't care. I don't care. Highlight real material for Scoot. One thing I mentioned in the original trade video is that there's never there'll never be a minute where Pascal's on the floor without a good setup point guard. And right now, Tyrese is on the bench, and it's CJ McConnell. Uh, Nimhard is injured, so we won't see any of him today. 
But number nine is going to get you the ball when you need it. That one's in. I'm t I, t I can see it. Buddy Heels release. It's like you can see when it's going in and when it's not. And it's not just about when he's open, when he's not. Because, I mean, he's Buddy Heel. He's one of the best three-point shooters of all time. Um, but still, I, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. And there's Mr. Steady right there. One thing about DeAndre Aiden, if you get him that ball, a button don't work. Black hole. I'm just, and, and sometimes that's okay. And today, so far, it's been okay. And I'm not, I'm not using that as criticism. So far, today has been okay. They, they can't miss. Um, but there are times I'm like, man, sometimes the first look ain't the best look. I need the I need the Pacers to run a little bit. So far, the Blazers have done a very good job at limiting fast break opportunities. One is because they're shooting 60% from the field, um, so they're not even getting the opportunity to do fast break. But they are getting back, and not a single person is crashing for offensive rebound. They've kind of recognized that the, the Pacers are the number two fast break team in basketball. Say, hey, y'all got to beat us some other way, and it's it's working so far. Jeremy Grant is just like, look at this. That's amazing defense, but Jeremy has made some of the toughest shots. They were just mentioned on the broadcast that Jeremy Grant takes the third toughest shots in all the association by some metric behind Brandon Ingram and DeMar DeRosa. He's third in all the league, and obviously he's still an efficient basketball player. It's kind of amazing to watch in real time. Points in the paint is 40 to 12 right now, and the three-point disparity is 11 made threes for the Pacers and only two for the Blazers. But, I mean, if you're going to outscore the opposing team by 30 in the paint, who cares about three-point shots? I didn't realize it was that crazy when I was talking about the fact that they only hit two threes. The Trailblazers are breaking records in this one. The lowest amount of three-pointers attempted by a team in a single half this season. Pascal, another bucket. Um, five three-point attempts. The lowest all season. Which is kind of crazy you think about where we came from as like an, a, a league. Five three-pointers and a half is, is super low. But like I've definitely watched basketball games in my life where that was like the norm and nobody batted an eye. And now it's the lowest of all time or lowest of the season. It's the second play to start the half. Ran for Pascal. Pascal had zero, like zero actual play. At least that's what it looked like. Zero plays ran for him in the first half. And the first two possessions of the second half, they like give Pascal the ball and let him do what he can do. And four straight points. And that's great defense, but nobody's there to help the help that was helping the help that was also helping the help. I, I would say give it back to 43. And just until he missed, give it to 43. Or number seven, that one's in too. I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. I don't know the science behind it. One of my least favorite things is when a player blatantly breaks the rules and they act like they didn't. Aaron E. Smith 100% travels here. But he's he's like, what did I do? No, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? No, you travel, my boy. It's fine. Get back. You 100% tra you travel. Finally, a fast break opportunity. Good defense, Jeremy Grant. He is everywhere offensively and defensively. Okay, they were winding it for us. Like he had no chance or no idea that he was making that play. That's, man. It really is just the, the Blazers walking to the rim. Every possession. It's kind of impressive how bad the defense is for the Pacers. <laughs> like for real, it's kind of, it's kind of impressive. It's just such an interesting lineup right now for the Trailblazers. They got zero guards on the floor. They got four wings and a big. And none of these guys traditionally are like, it's not like they got a point forward on the court. Like Jeremy's doing everything tonight. So I guess you could play him at all five positions. But I, I wonder how many minutes this combination of players have played. I mean, uh-oh. You see, you don't have a point guard. You see what happened when you don't have a point guard. <laughs> you see what happened when you don't have a point guard. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. So, School Henderson did get injured earlier, and he's he has not come back. So, I, I see why they don't have another point guard, because the point guard that they were expecting to have to play these minutes is not there anymore. I don't even remember who else is on the roster that could be a, a point guard. Either way, uh, yeah, they just, they just got four wings in the center on the court. Really just a layup line. It really just is a layup line. No way, no way, no way you let this man get to the basket this easy. First of all, Obi Toppin 
this fake I'm a stop ball thing is just not going to cut it. And, and the fake reach right there for Benedict Mather, it's just all really bad. Shout out, shout out to the Blazers because they recognize that very early on and they will not stop. They have not settled for a three-point shot this whole game. Like, I mean, like, really settle. Now, of course, they've taken three-point shots because they were open, but, I mean, settling for a three has not happened. And that's how they get to this point. They are just really getting to the basket at will. And this is a team that doesn't do that normally. <laughs> doesn't do that normally. So it is cool to see them play a different way because of their competition. Throw it up. Oh, and one. He was definitely asking for, to get thrown up. And he, he, Tyrese just took it himself. Now, Tyrese has missed two free throws today. Uh, so it's not a guaranteed three-point play the way he's hooping right now. But three is greater than two. The whole fourth quarter has been the Blazers again getting to the basket and getting fouled. Like eight minutes left, they were in a penalty. Like it's been straight up the same thing over and over. And it's it's been successful. Like, look at this. I don't even know if I got to watch this last six minutes. Because if you can't prevent this man from doing this every possession, you're just not going to win the game. You're just not going to win. Spoiler alert. When you give up layups to NBA players, they don't miss them too often. Pacers are trying to make some noise. It's only a seven-point game. And both teams have been in the penalty. The reason why you have not seen much fourth quarter for me, it's all been free throws. What you want me to say doing the free throws? It's all been free throws. So, uh, yeah, I ain't, I ain't been talking too much. But now they can't start playing scared now. It's a, it's a whole four minutes left. Yeah, Malcolm. It's my, one of my least favorite things about this sport. Um, shout out to DeAndre Aiden. They get close. The game, the game only has a few minutes left. And now the stuff that was working to put you in the lead, you just stop doing. I'll never understand it. It happens every game to every team. And Miles makes it a, what, five-point game again. Siakam has five fouls. Jeremy Grant is just ridiculous. I mean, that's high off glass. You can't even do nothing about that. 36 points for him so far. Three minutes left. Pascal Island. Never mind. Never mind. What is the spacing? Look, what is the spacing? I hate it. It ended in another and one. Oh, no, it didn't. Ladies and gentlemen, it's looking like that's it. Barry Walker hit a couple big shots. Or I guess layups. Do they count as shots? Made a couple big layups. It's it's foul season. I don't know if I can get through. I mean, I'm going to watch, obviously. But this is feeling more and more like a Blazers win every single second. Like, look at that man fight. Look at that man fight. Definitely need a bucket right here if you're going Come back, Pacers. That is a bucket. All right, we stand in our chair. We're standing in our chair because that is a bucket. Uh, no fouls, buddy. Please don't. I can't do more free throws, bro. I don't know how many free throws has been, but just mark my words. It's been a ton. It's been, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a lot of them. All right. I stop right here. Puts you back in the game. Believe it or not, that was a huge three right there. But Malcolm Brod, there been no one today. Can he get another one? Oh, he touched it. D.A. D.A. That was going in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Malcolm. Three seconds ago, he got it up on the glass. He missed it. You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. Buddy's about to do something crazy. I see it in his eyes. Never mind. They turned it over. They turned it over. Matisse Stiebel. Just the idea of Matisse Stiebel got them spooked. And it's a six-point game with 50. I'm sure they're going to foul. Hey, listen. I ain't here for this. They try to figure out that somebody get attacked that they not. This game is wrapped up, okay? This game is wrapped up. The, the, the Pacers' defense was awful in protecting the paint. They tried to make it interesting. It ended up being a great game. Pascal Siakam looked pretty good in his debut, and that's with not a lot of opportunities, like, drawn up for him. I thought the timing between him and Tyrese was amazing, but... Of course, it's not. It's their first game playing, playing together. We we could check back in in like a month or so when they get 10 or 15 games out of their belt. Um, I think it can obviously work very well, but the Blazers just put them on their butt today.